Oh, I'm hurrying, hurrying. So I got all the stuff back in the car. All right. I'm about 10 minutes away from this house. Oh, there's a car. I got to watch pulling out of here. A lot of cars, figures. Hey, Tony here. Uh, I give a hand out. <laughs> Rand Adventures 2.0. Where are we at? What are we doing? Well, where we're at, we're at one of my spots that I visited over two years ago. Oh, gosh, it's been almost three years ago. Wow, this really looks different. But we're going to do a hammock camp. I got to make it to the other side of this. All right. So if you're ready, <laughs> here we go. Yeah, it's been over two years since I've been here. And I'll tell you what, this has got a lot of grass around it. Ooh, and the, oh, a lot of frogs <laughs> jumping in the water. So I got to make it down along the edge. Boy, this is a little soft stepping. Ooh, a lot of deer tracks. Yeah, right at the water's edge. And they kind of walk right along here. So I don't want to end up in the water. Oh, get through there. Oh man, a lot of deer tracks. Now I did bring the game cam as well. So we've got the game cam, man, there's tracks all along here. Oh, I don't remember water being this close to, to the woods. It's a narrow path, but there is tons of tracks. Oh, it's a little sloppy through here. There we go. Uh. Oh, I got water in my shoe, I think. <laughs> so, oh, that's not good. Oh, maybe I'll... All right, well, I'll come back to this spot because there's tracks everywhere. I've got to find a place to put the game cam. And it might end up being right over there on that tree. <laughs> that tree right there. Because that kind of has a shot right at this area. There's tracks all over here. Man, there's a ton of them. I don't see a trail going that way, but that's kind of what direction we're going. I want to get over back in there. Uh, let me figure out how to get there. When I found this spot a couple of years ago, this has turned out to be one of my most favorite spots. Uh, you can see we got blueberry bushes and uh, it's pretty thick right through here, but we want to get over to the left, but first I gotta get through all this stuff. Oh, <laughs> if there wasn't a path here, we're making one. Oh, <laughs> it started to open up. So it's pretty thick right around the water. It's got blueberry bushes, mountain laurel, all kinds of stuff. And then you can see on this side, uh, we still got those, I, I call them jack pines or scrub pines. And if I remember correctly, it was just down this way that we hung our hammock the last time. Yeah, I think there, this was an old stripping at one time because there's a big pit right there that goes down. <laughs> so a lot of, a lot of little trails and stuff that go around here. Whoa. Get a lot of dead wood, dead branches. Ah, oh, this is actually looking familiar here. Yeah, it is. So I think I used that tree right over there and I used this tree right here. Uh, and I hung my hammock across here. Now it's been a while. Like I said, it's been, uh, it's gotta be three years now. Yeah, there is a path right there to get out uh, to the little mountain pond, I called it uh, in the last video. But this is going to be a good night. I got to get that game cam off, set up. I got to get oh, my backpack off. Oh, I got a lot to do. Sun's going down. It's going to get down to 70. Oh, no, it's 72 now. But it's going to get down to 48 tonight. 
So I do have the under quilt and the top quilt. Well, I'll get all that pulled out and get all set up. And so I think I'm gonna put the backpack right here on this tree, right at the base of it. Oh, gotta get it all unclipped. Hopefully I don't <laughs> get any ticks. Yeah, anytime you're near water, uh, there's usually more bugs, more mosquitoes, but so far I haven't noticed any. So that's a good thing. All right. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna get the hammock strung up before it gets dark and then we'll work on getting the game cam out. Like I said, I think I wanna put it over there. I can just see the water through the trees right here. One of the things I always say is, let's get our ridge line up. So it's not supposed to rain tonight. Um, so I think it's 5% chance, but I wanted to go ahead and test this product out. Um, this is not to market yet. Um, a gentleman named Scott contacted me. He's got a product um, right now that you may know of. Uh, he's a through hiker, uh, ultralight hiker, uh, motorcyclist, traveler, uh, just does a lot of stuff. But he was laying in his hammock trying to figure out a better way to make a ridge line and uh, or a split ridge line, how to make it lighter. And he asked me if I'd like to check it out give him my opinion on it and kind of see how it worked. So this gives me the perfect opportunity. <laughs> this might be your first look at it. It's not even the market yet. He's just been working on it and he's getting ready to go to market with it. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty innovative and very light. So this piece here is supposed to be, instead of using a, a Prusik knot, uh, he's got this here. Uh, and I'm not going to go over it too much with you because um, <laughs> I want to give it a good test and uh, give him my feedback before he goes to market with it. Um, yeah, that is very fortunate um, that he, he asked me to do that. So I definitely want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a string up and see how it all works. All right, that's all secure. So what he was thinking when he designed this is that it's a quick way to center your hammock these little things right here the line goes through and it, you just tighten them down and it works pretty good so I pulled it gave it a good pull gave it a twist it's locked into place and I think that's about centered where I want it but we can always adjust it because you just loosen one side and then loosen the other side and pull it one way yeah so far so good I'm probably gonna just leave the snake skin and everything else on there. I'm not gonna deploy, deploy the tarp. Like I said, it's only 5% chance of rain, not a cloud in the sky. So I think we'll be good. If I have to, I can later on. But my main thing was to try out the, the new split line, split ridge line, I believe it's is what you call that when it's not a continuous one. All right, let's get our hammock going. Well, we got about 12 or 14 feet there. This is a good distance apart, and I will get it up kind of high to start out with. And then we'll go adjusting. Because <laughs> I'm not sure. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> that should be good. Well, I did hang here before, so... Like I said, I, I believe this was the same exact trees. Oh, we got all our stuff in here. Oh, it's nice and thick. So this is in a snake skin as well. And like I said, it's got, it's got everything in here. The bug net, the top quilt, the bottom quilt, oh, the hammock. All right, so I'm gonna walk this out and get it strung up the other side. It's a quick pull. Yeah, the beauty of having everything in the snakeskin, you can just slide it on back and everything drops out. So I'm going to leave that right there. That's good. And open up the other side. They just stay right on there for when we're ready to pack up in the morning. All right, unclip this. So I think I am going to have to do a couple of adjustments. I'm going to give that strap there a pull. Oh, that's 
good. All right, time for a <laughs> give it a sit. Moment of truth. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're pretty good right there. Yeah. So I usually like to have my feet on the ground or close enough. They, they always say you should never set your hammock up higher than you're willing to fall. And I think <laughs> I could fall there. <laughs> That's far enough. All right. Well, ooh, I think we should uh, probably set the game cam out soon because it's evening and the sun's going down quicker than I thought. Okay, I've got the game cam. Oh, right there it is. All right, let's make our way back over there. I'll tell you what, these branches on these pines, these dead ones, they actually uh, hurt when you walk into them. I'm thinking right next to the water at that spot. Hmm. Oh, I gotta go back through this mess. Yeah, the blueberries are probably all done now. <clears throat> really haven't seen any on the blueberry bushes. Ooh, there's some high grass right here. All right, like I said, I think we're going to go right over here on this tree. Okay, this is the spot that we're going to look at, which is right here next to the water. And hopefully stuff comes <laughs> for a drink later tonight. Uh, we'll find out, but let me show you where the game cam's at. So we got it right on the tree right there. You can see it on that pine. I don't have it set up yet. I got to turn it on and then get out of here before it records me walking away. But hopefully we have some success with it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Let it come on. Come on. Yeah, gotta turn it on first. <laughs> All right, and start. Uh, we got 27 more seconds. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, I think that's good. Right there. So that's a pretty sh straight shot to that spot. Oh, we gotta go through our <laughs> forest again <laughs> all right i'll see you back at camp yeah, you can see the dried blood on my arm that's from brushing up against some of them dead pine tree branches and then they're sharp some of them all right guys i i just uh got back to camp i looked on my phone real quick and my friend george george some of you that are part of the channel or have been watching the channel for a while, you, uh, especially on Sunday Night Lives, you know that I um, have coffee in the mornings sometimes, not every day, uh, with George. George is a 78-year-old um, Vietnam vet. I sometimes take him to the VA in Lebanon. Um, I just got a call. I missed this call. Uh, he's having trouble breathing, so I got to break this camp down really quick. Um, I'm going to have to abandon camp. I'm probably going to leave the game cam there overnight, but uh, I got to get down there to him. He was using his inhaler a lot yesterday uh, because I was with him. We went to go get a truck cap put on uh, his truck, uh, but man, I got to hurry. All right. Uh, well, I'll talk to you uh, throughout this video. I don't know if it's going to be a, a, a video, but um, I, I can't camp tonight. All right, guys. All right. See you in a bit. Let me get this tour down. All right, I got the backpack on and stuff. And like I said, I'm gonna get oh, hiked out. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna talk to you in the car. All right, see ya. I know I said I was gonna get to you when I was in the car, but just coming down this hill <laughs> with this stroke that I had two years ago, it's hard for me to go down hills. I got my trekking poles in this hand just stabilizing me. I don't want to, I want to make sure I get down there so I can get to him. Oh, like I said, he was 
having trouble breathing. I could hear it in his voice. I, I probably should have just left my stuff there, but it only took me, believe it or not, 10 minutes to tear that down. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, I'm hurrying, hurrying. So I got all the stuff back in the car. All right, I'm about 10 minutes away from this house. Oh, there's a car. I gotta watch pulling out of here. A lot of cars, figures. So I'm, I'm only 10 minutes away from his house. I got everything back in the car. I got to clear off my passenger seat when I get there. It's about an, oh goodness, an hour and 40 minute, an hour and 10 minute drive down to get there. All right, well, I got to get going. All right, so I got to the house and I was... As soon as I walked in, he's struggling for breath. He's got oxygen on. And George says, Tony, help me. And so I immediately called 911. They came. And uh, I called Miss 2.0. She's sitting there. Can you see her? Yeah. No. So, <laughs> I think so. Hi. So um, she walked over. Um, it took a little bit for the ambulance to get there. But... Uh, He's in the ambulance. He's headed to the hospital. We just went to the one hospital that he, that he said they were taking him to, but we got there and turns out they're taking him to a different one. So we just stopped. We're in route now. So we just stopped here real quick. Um, I'll just keep you updated what's going on. All right. Uh, just keep praying for George. Okay. I'm, we made it over. Here's George. He's all hooked up. Things are looking good. All right, I'll keep you all updated. All right, so it's 1.30? 2. 2? 203. 2.03. So we just spent um, in the emergency room. We stay with George until he gets moved upstairs. Uh, they're coming to move him upstairs now. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and head on home. Um, his breathing's a lot better. Uh, so he's going to spend the night, and they're going to keep monitoring and we will i'll be coming back maybe tomorrow if he's going to get out um, but yeah all right well we're gonna head on home all right talk to y'all later okay well right back there's where we car camped there's the subaru this may look familiar i'm at the geisinger hospital so that's the hospital that george came to uh, i'm gonna turn you around here because we're walking to the elevator we rode this elevator the other night in that car camp when we did the car camp on the garage. But this is the um, place that we came to, the hospital the other night with George. And I'm just getting back here. Yesterday he was uh, doing better. I didn't show that, uh, but he is doing better. His wife was out of town. She is back now, so she should be visiting with him right now. So I know he's taken care of. I just want to check on him and then, hey, guess what? We're going to go get that game cam. Uh, well, I'm going to talk. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, this is George. Uh, so as you guys have been following along on the video, you know that he had come to the uh, ER. Uh, boy, you were a mess when you got here. Yeah, but he's doing better. Uh, yesterday, still struggling a little bit. But today, uh, he's back to his uh, spirit. We're looking forward to having coffee together again, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... As you all know, I uh, tell you all about George, that him and I have coffee in the mornings along with Ed. I did talk to Ed on the phone. Uh, he's doing good. So probably about two more days, probably May Sunday, he'll be coming home. So I always show uh, George my videos after I get done camping. He's always like, hey, where did you go and when are you going? And uh, he's gotten several meals, uh, paid for several meals for me to get food to take along and different things. And uh yeah, special guy, special, special guy. And I want to thank you all for the prayers. But I tell you what, right now we've got a game cam sitting up on the mountain. Now that I know that George is doing good and we'll be home on Sunday, I got to go check my game cam.
<laughs> All right. Well, we will see you. You guys. There you go. All right. Tony 2.0 and George. Uh, I'm going to get my game cam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're on the garage roof. Like I said, if you didn't see it, there's the thumbnail right there uh, for the camp that we did up here, but there's Subi Doo. So I've got about a 45 minute drive to get to our game cam spot and I got a hike in yet. All right, on the way to the woods, uh, Miss 2.0 called me and she wants a coffee. So I'm gonna run a coffee up to her then we're going to get to the woods. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fine. All righty. Okay. I uh, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. You too. See ya. So if you're wondering what kind of coffee Miss 2.0 drinks, she drinks an iced coffee with two creams, one pump of caramel, and then sweet cold foam on top. <laughs> so I just pulled up at her work and I just texted her, let her know that I'm here. She said she was gonna walk out. We'll see. <laughs> she might be right in the middle of passing meds. Okay, she's on B wing, so I gotta take it to her because I waited for a little bit, but she didn't come out. So she must be really busy. Let me go take this coffee down to her. Okay, Miss 2.0's got her coffee. Let's see your coffee. There it is. <laughs> Get her through the night. Yeah, I need it. All right. Well, uh, she's walked me to the door, and then I am going to head out to the mountain this time, right? Yeah, this time. All righty. See ya. See ya. All right, I'll be careful. <laughs> Walking and talking, right? All right, well, let me get to the car and get out of here. Okay, we made it out <laughs> to the spot. Now, this is the bank that I came down at the, after I got the call from George, after I packed up. So I came down this hill right before we got in the car. Uh, we got a little bit of a walk to get to where we're going. But this is not a very used trail, uh, but it is a trail. So let's go on and get up here. Yeah. Oh, got to watch my step. But looking over the side, there is a road down there, but it's fenced off or gated. Uh, but yeah. Oh, let's keep working our way up here. So we got about a 15 minute walk. Maybe what I'll do is bring you back once we get close to where we're going. Yeah, so the game cam was out for two nights. So I was, wasn't was expecting George to be there overnight, but as bad as he was. So he's got a lot of ailments. Like I said, he was he's a 24-year veteran. He did three tours in Vietnam. Great guy. Yeah, I'm glad glad he went to the hospital close by. Uh, definitely got good care fast. All right. All right. I'll talk to you when we get closer. All right. I really doubt anybody noticed our game cam because this is not really a very known spot. It's on a mountain, but I think the only tracks that were, oh, there was a frog just jumped in the water. So there are a lot of frogs. I did a video, one of my very first videos, I did it on the Sawyer Squeeze. I think it's number seven. If you go way back on my videos, it's about number seven. I did the uh, Sawyer Squeeze where I came up here. I <laughs> filtered the water through the Sawyer Squeeze. We're gonna see a lot of frogs jump. Ah, uh, yeah, this is a narrow path along the edge. <laughs> yeah, there was quite a few frogs jumped in the water. A lot of tadpoles. Not a very big stream or pond, but it is a self-contained ecosystem. All right, well, let's keep walking and get over to our game cam. Now I've got to get up to that thing and get it turned off before it records me. 
Ah, but right there is the patch of water that we were pointed towards. And we're right around the corner on that tree where you can't see it. But let me go over there and get it turned off. I know one of the recordings, oh, hurry, hurry. I know one of the recordings that is going to be on here is me leaving to go get George. All right, let's say off. There we go. Perfect. So, yeah, I got the uh, game cam off and I just looked at it. So we got 320 <laughs> pictures and videos, but I'm scanning through them trying to figure out um, why we got so many. But I think that the side sensors, it got a little breezy, so there must have been a branch swaying during the day and at night. Um, and it looked like possibly a spider <laughs> crawled across one of the sensors and was making a web. <laughs> but I tried looking on the little screen that's on here. Uh, see, it's a little, little screen. And I, <laughs> I can't see anything uh, except for a couple moths flying around. I don't know. I'm going to do a little bit more investigating <laughs> and try to see if we have something on there. Maybe I'll show you a few things at the end of this video. Um, yeah. And if so, I'll put that in here right now. Okay, so you can see it's uh, September 4th, about 8.25 p.m. So I had been gone for about... Mm, two hours oh, almost well yeah two hours and right here so this is what i saw it looks like to me a spider web so maybe a spider triggered it it's really hard to believe that we had all this time and that's all i saw on here but there was 320 videos and also slides so i pulled out another one so this is the next day and like I was saying, see how windy it is? Um, maybe there was a branch that kept triggering it. Uh, so this is on 9-5, about 1-10 p.m. And then the last one here, this is the very next day. So that was earlier today uh, at 3-25 p.m. And you can see it's still breezy. Uh, but right towards the end of this one, you can hear a fly or bugs. I don't know, maybe frogs or something were triggering it. I have no clue, but we didn't get one single thing. Yep, alrighty. <laughs> Standing here right now, I don't know if you, <laughs> if we got anything on the game cam or not, but hopefully we did, and that was just included in the video. Uh, yeah, that's one of the issues with when you got the game cam and you can't get it off right now to talk about what we had because I looked through 320 little things and my battery was going dead. So, well, anyhow, I want to say, I know this wasn't a typical camp because we had uh, the issue with George and stuff, but I am so thankful that I checked my phone. I generally, this area is not known for having very good reception and uh, because I'm filming with the Osmo Pocket 3, I don't use my phone. So I sat down on the hammock once we set the game cam up and I walked over there and uh, picked up my phone and I thought, you know, let me just look at it quick, see if I got reception. And I had two missed calls from George um, that was like an hour uh, earlier. And it was a good thing that I went ahead and uh, called him and when he called me, it didn't sound like he was laboring as much. So, uh, but still, I wanted to go get him. And well, you saw how it all went. So, I want to thank the Lord for um, the reception that we had enough to get his call and that uh, he prompted me to see the message because, from what uh, the doctors have said, um, it was good that he came in immediately. And like I said, um, we're just very thankful uh, that he got to the hospital and great care from the doctors. Like I said, there was five people working on him when we got to the emergency room. So, all right. Well, 
<laughs> I think we got to cue the music and end this video. Like I said, not a typical video, but I hope you understand. And uh, yeah, I, I, I really do. And uh, it, it's a random adventure, <laughs> right? Uh, so I got a day pack on just to let you know, because um, I didn't want to hike up here with my full set. Uh, I got to get all that um, out of the car. It's been in there for two days. I got to get things reorganized because I just threw it all in there. But for the next camp. All right. Well, we got to cue some music. Ah, there it is. All right. So, hey, I want to say thank you uh, for coming along on these adventures. Remember, it's just one adventure at a time. And if you can't get out and have your own adventures, keep coming along with me. I think we're having an awesome time. I hope you are, too. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and maybe <laughs> the notification bell. If you never want to miss one of our random adventures, that'll notify you every time we come out with a video. We've got camping videos every Thursday night, but we I want to tell you, we also have Sunday Night Live where we talk about the video of the week and everybody gets in there uh, in the comments talking to one another. We've got a great community. Hope you come join us and become a part of the 2.0 family. All righty. Well, Tony, <laughs> here we go. 2.0 out.